Mercedes AMG SL55 first test, AMG cranks up the base. The seventh generation Mercedes Benz SL class is fast and sporty, and it was designed fully by AMG with the goal of making it among the most performance focused roadsters to wear the three pointed star since the SL300 Gullwing. Not surprisingly, the 2022 Mercedes AMG SL55 also costs a lot of coin. We've already spent quite a bit of time evaluating the top dog Mercedes AMG SL63 during our Motor Trend Car of the Year and Performance Vehicle of the Year competitions. So we were curious to see how much performance is left on the table by going with the base model SL55, which starts at just less than $140,000, roughly $40,000 cheaper than the SL63. Disclaimer, the true global base car in this model lineup is the SL43, which gets an intriguing and high-tech turbo 4 engine. Unfortunately, AMG doesn't offer it for sale in the US, but we hope that changes, especially if it lowers the price tag to a 5-digit number. For now, however, Americans must make do with a 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 shared between the SL55 and SL63 but tuned to make less power in the former at 469 horsepower and 516 lbft of torque, compared to 577 horsepower and 590 lbft in the SL63. As in the SL63, a 9-speed automatic routes that power to AMG's Firmatic all-wheel drive system, a first for an SL. Standard rear axle steering is also a first for the Roadster. When it comes to optional equipment, the most notable addition to our test car is the Performance Line package, which sets you back $7,300, and is standard on the SL63. The package's most significant goodies include an electronic limited slip differential and AMG's Trick Adaptive Dampers that supplement an already intricate suspension setup. Pros, what we like. The previous generation Mercedes SL was a bit of a head-scratcher to look at, but the model's styling this time around is a big improvement. The proportions are better, and there are no lines or curves you need to get used to. The cabin is packed with premium materials and supportive seats, and it boasts relatively good top-up visibility considering the SL's high belt line. And despite the SL switch from a hard top to a soft top, the interior is mostly quiet. However, this sense of peace goes out the window once you start flogging the big V8 engine. Launching the SL55 couldn't be easier, thanks to AMG's simplified launch control, which we experienced previously in the SL63. The all-wheel drive system's grip certainly helps, too. Get the launch right, and you see a 0-60 to 60 miles per hour time of 3.6 seconds before crossing the quarter mile in 12.0 seconds at 114.8 miles per hour. Mercedes AMG said the SL63 would be about 0.3 second quicker to 60 miles per hour than this car is, but our results show a half second gap, increasing to 0.7 second at the quarter mile. On our figure 8 course, we were impressed by the 2022 Mercedes AMG SL55's grip, 1.04G lateral acceleration average. We noted the super smart and quick transmission that was always in the proper gear for the situation, which for some reason was quite the opposite of what we experienced in the SL63. The SL55 loves to be driven hard, like an AMG should, but it's also fairly nimble. And tail happy, too setting the drive mode to race or master ensures most of the power is directed to the rear wheels instead of the fronts. Indeed, we were initially surprised by the SL55's figure 8 time of 23.3 seconds, which bests the SL63 by 0.3 seconds despite the latter boasting more power, wider tires, and 41 fewer pounds. Both cars were equipped with Michelin Pilot 4S rubber, with the SL55 wearing 265-40-20 inches up front and 295-35-20s in back, while the SL63 sports 21-inch 275-35 fronts and 305-30 rears. Cons, what we don't like. We dove deeper into our figure 8 data for both cars, which revealed the likely culprit and exposed one weakness with both SLs, the brakes. The SL55 had standard steel discs, and the SL63 ran with upgraded carbon brakes, but that didn't make a difference on the figure 8. They're both strong and capable in terms of actual stopping ability, but their super short pedal travel makes them difficult to modulate. 
It was too easy for us to get into the ABS, to the detriment of figure 8 lap times. But we managed to figure out the SL55's braking points easier than we did in the SL63, which likely explains its quicker lap time. The SL63's harsh ride quality over rough pavement and sharp bumps was another complaint we lodged when testing it. We hope the 2022 Mercedes-AMG SL55 smaller wheel size and taller tire sidewall would help in this department, but alas, that wasn't the case. We also didn't quite get used to operating the soft top, which requires sliding and holding a digital button on the infotainment screen. The car's tiny rear seats aren't practical for anyone but small children during anything exceeding a trip from one end of the country club to the other, and we detected slight wind noise from the top of the A-pillar, which we suspect is isolated to our test car and not endemic to all SLs. A real alternative to the SL63. Even considering the above-sided handful of shortcomings, the Mercedes-AMG SL55 is a quick and capable roadster with few faults, and it doesn't sacrifice much performance compared to the significantly more expensive SL63. Buyers of this base model will quickly discover they're behind the wheel of a whole lot of car, not a budget version of the car they wish they had instead. Just don't expect a cheap engine controller reflash to safely unlock SL63 power. There's a lot more than programming that differentiates these M177 engines. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.